in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear friends we the carmelite fathers greet you in the name of infant jesus and welcome you to carmel light reflection on the day's readings it's the saturday of the 16th week in ordinary time today is also the memorial of saint alfonso the first indian saint let's listen to the reading taken from jeremiah chapter 7 verses 1 to 11 the word that came to jeremiah from the lord stand in the gate of the lord's house and proclaim there this word and say hear the word of the lord all you men of juda who enter these gates to worship the lord thus says the lord the god of israel amend your ways and your doings and i will let you dwell in this place do not trust in these deceptive words this is the temple of the lord the temple of the lord the temple of the lord for if you truly amend your ways and your doings if you truly execute justice one with another if you do not oppress the alien the fatherless or the widow or shed innocent blood in this place and if you do not go after other gods to your own hurt then i will let you dwell in this place in the land that i gave of old to your fathers forever behold you trust in deceptive words to no avail will you see will you steal murder commit adultery swear falsely burn incense to baal and go after other gods that you have not known and then come and stand before me in this house which is called by my name and say we are delivered only to go on doing all these abominations has this house which is called by my name become a den of robbers in your eyes behold i myself have seen it says the lord the word of the lord thanks be to god there is a great uneasiness that many especially the youth do not go to the church or do not take part in the religious services on 14th april 2012 the vijaya karnataka daily a regional daily carried the results of a survey and concluded that 94% of the youth surveyed believed in god they believed in god of them 49% believed in a god without form and name nirakara means without form while 34% spoke of their faith in a god as sakara with form 
among the 94 49 believed in a god with the form and 34 believed in a god who has a form but these forms of religious systems are traditional often called theology of negation and theology of affirmation theology of negation is god is not that god is not this god is not uh, dark god is not lies whereas affirmation is god is light god is life god is truth prophet jeremiah looks at religion and faith in today's reading not as a fulfillment of rituals and worship in the temple confined strictly to certain times and places but ever present and everywhere he is a living god all the religious teachers tell us one thing that if you are one with the lord you should bear fruits of goodness towards your neighbor the document lumen gentium the light of the world reminds us of the church embracing in its bosom sinners at the same time holy and always in need of being purified church is for sinners church is for saints and there is always a need of purification St Augustine puts it thus even though incorporated into the church one who does not however persevere in charity is not saved he remains indeed in the bosom of the church but in body not in heart all children of the church should nevertheless remember that their exalted condition results not from their own merits but from the grace of christ those of us who are baptized are definitely physically in the body of the church but in spirit we may not be in the church on the other hand there might be non baptized persons who live in the spirit of jesus but are not considered to be in the church let us pray my dear friends as we find in the bible diary today is the birthday of winster joel de costa from bendur mangalore savio quello we wish them happy birthday and we pray for god's blessings on them it's also the death anniversary of robert and mary fernandez may the lord have mercy on them and today being saturday a day dedicated to honor our mother let's pray the novena prayer to our lady of mount carmel Holy Mother of God and Queen of Carmel We greet you as the Mother of Carmel You were raised from being a lowly handmaid to the great dignity of Mother of the Word incarnate We dedicate ourselves as an act of filial homage We glorify the Holy Trinity by honoring you and in our many needs we have recourse to your protection and your powerful intercession jesus your son was so obedient to you on earth will certainly grant your petitions on our behalf with this trust and unbounded confidence we beseech you to hear our prayers and obtain for us of your divine son the favors we request in this novena having experienced the efficacy of your prayers we are full of confidence that you will gain for us this favor 
if it is for the glory of god and for our good amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen our lady of mount carmel pray for us thanksgiving prayer holy mother of god and queen of carmel we your children come before you in a spirit of filial devotion and gratitude as mother of our spiritual life you have obtained for us innumerable graces and blessings from our heavenly father who has given to us through you the greatest of all treasures christ our lord we recognize with deep sentiments of thankfulness all the spiritual favors that have come to us through your powerful intercession in particular we thank you for your special protection over those who wear your holy scapula with faith and love and finally we thank you for your answering our prayers in our personal needs we implore from you the great grace of final perseverance that we may remain faithful to the end to your son our lord jesus christ who is lord forever and ever amen pray for god's blessings may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen my dear friends have a great weekend and don't forget to share this audio with your friends contacts and groups and father steven pereira come light priest and my whatsapp number is 9481263229 see you tomorrow have a great day bye bye